Hey guys, while we're on the topic of Cleveland 2v heads, I want to go through with you guys um, on these trick flow aluminium performance 2v style heads. So in relation to that um, post I put up about that article, that build off um, where they you know, they, they did a comparison between an iron 2V head open chamber and then they swapped it out and, and put one of these trick flow um, aluminium performance heads on there. And, you know, just in just in relation to that, I want to go through the ins and outs and the differences between both. Also, we'll do a bit of a comparison with that um, last video that I put up with that iron CNC ported 2V head, a factory head. Um, and we'll just, you know, run some figures back and forth between the two heads and we'll just see what this trick flow um, performance head has to offer out of the box compared to an all done up um, OEM style factory head. And, you know, if you haven't seen that video, you can go back, um, have a look at that video if you haven't already. So you can see here, um, obviously that alloy and you can see the... Um, the rocker stands there, they're, they're joint and, and braced together solidly. You know, they're not like the uh, factory 2V9 heads where they got um, separated individual rocker stands. So, you know, there's strength there, you can you can see from that. Um, they have a, a, a more solid uh, deck uh, material and surface. Um, and, you know, you can see there on the exhaust ports, uh, they're like a D shape. Then they're actually a raised exhaust port by about a hundred thou. And, and uh, also, guys, this is a revised 2V, um, you know, based head. It's not, it's not you know, it's not a 4V based or a, or a 3V, you know, um, based head. It's, it's an actual 2V revised enhanced style of head so with these exhaust ports being raised um by a hundred thou which is you know like two and a half millimeters or so you think it's not much but you know the 2v heads carry you know natural flaws just like what the 4v heads do so you know they they they, they have um factory floors with the exhaust um you know with the exhaust ports and with the floor running off downwards it's very similar to the 4v so with you know creating a d port and a little bit raised it just helps those gases get out so the whole design there's you know drastically improved and you know that's a hundred thou you know when you get them out of the box they're raised now what you can do extra you know if you want to go port extra or you know do a cnc program or something like that you know the roof of that port can even um you know become more ramped up and more uh higher you know, to improve flow um but that floor straightened out you know just to help with um reversion problems and things like that that the factory head has therefore these trick flow at 600 thou valve lift on the exhaust um producing uh 236 cfm of flow and if you compare it to that previous video with the uh, factory iron cnc port which is pretty much the you know one of the best port jobs you can probably do on a on a factory iron 2v that there um at the same valve lift at 600 thou was 195 cfm so you can see that 40 cfm of extra flow you know that the trick flow alloys have over these um factory iron cnc ported version so it's pretty badass exhaust valve on the tfs is uh 1.6 inch over its factory i think 1.65 inch so again proving you know to be efficient in that um in that aspect okay moving to the inlet ports uh basically they're in stock uh standard um 2v location obviously all you know better contoured revised you know what I mean? The um, tide and quench point behind the valve there has all been thought of. You know what I mean? There's no excuses there. Um, the valve size on the TFS is uh, 208 um, over its stock, I think, is 2.04 or 2.05 by memory, stock iron 2V. So it's a little bigger on the inlet valve. Um and you know they come in two versions as well the the 195 cc um 
inlet port volume and they've also got a power port uh, version and that comes in at uh, 225 cc of uh, inlet port volume you know obviously for you know bigger cubic inch strokers i guess and you know maybe for more serious you know what i mean drag combinations i guess and again based off that article that i posted up um you know you could see the tfs over its um stock iron 2v open chamber it you know it picked up a, a good 70 horse and you know even 30 foot pound of torque just basically from a head swap okay let's look at some figures and some comparisons here so you can see the tfs 195 cc inlet versions they flow their um, 313 CFM at 600 thou valve lift and you know that's that's pretty good and if we compare them to those iron 2v CNC ported versions that I did a video previously on you can see there that you know it's a badass port job and you know they topped out at um, 280 to 282 CFM at a similar you know valve lift and if you you know, if we move move forward to the power port, the 225cc inlets, you can see there that they, you know, flow almost 340, 339 CFM at 600 thou, you know, 700 thou. And now, you know, that is badass. So the TFS alloys have got a good 30 uh, CFM of um, extra intake flow over them uh, ported 2V irons and the power port 225cc units those TFS um, alloys have actually got 60 extra CFM on the intake over them CNC ported irons and that's you know a, a big difference there. We can see there that the CNC ported irons were good for 481 uh, flywheel horsepower with the dual plane intake, and then with the single plane intake, it was good for 505 horsepower, and then on a stroker deal, 383 cubic inches, and with the cam swap, it was good for 547 flywheel the horsepower. that they did, they actually achieved um, with their 225cc power port versions, they achieved. 573 uh, flywheel horsepower that post and, article you know, if you compare up. that to the um, guys with the CNC port irons um, on their test engine you know these guys are they're up about 70 horsepower you know uh, difference and even with the uh, stroker deal with those CNC ported irons, you know, these guys here with the T, uh, TFS 225s, they're still up by about 30 horse and not even being a stroker. So you can see the difference there. It's, you know, not night and day difference. Trickflow themselves um, conducted a test, you know, using one of their um, Stroker Cleveland uh, combinations, you know, with relatively low comp, like 10 and a half to one compression, a hydraulic roller cam, and, you know, one of their cool intakes. And you can see there they, um, with the power ports, they manage 605 horsepower and 550 foot pound of torque at no more than, you know, six and a half thousand RPM. So again, another good example there with one of their heads. So you can see here also on my head flow simulator that, you know, the TFS 195cc, you know, can flow um, and make anywhere, you know, in the high 500s and you know anywhere up to the mid 600s uh depending on cubic inch and combination of course and you can see here also with the cnc irons um you know it, it's showing it's showing that um same horsepower figure you know with the example that they had and they made as well with those guys so it's pretty much on the money but yeah there's differences between the two heads for sure TFS head also has a great um, exhaust to inlet um, flow ratio of 75.5% and you know it just goes to show how efficient this head works and you know and it, it, it can probably work well with one of those catalog um, you know square cam profiles you know that, that are everywhere and probably can't go wrong. So there you go guys the TFS alloys for the win and don't get me wrong those um, CNC 
imported 2V irons are badass also and you know they're good for you know up to the mid 500s um, horsepower you know in the right combination of course and the TFS alloys are good for you know you know anywhere up to the mid 600s horsepower and again of course with the right combination and then get too caught up with you know oh I want the you know largest flowing heads you know, because there's no point sticking, you know, killer heads on a fairly mild uh, combination. It doesn't mean you're going to make that potential horsepower. And when you do get results with head flow and all that business, it means that that's the potential um, of power you could make. So you need the right combination to get there. So you'd need the right cubing inch. You would need the right compression. You know what I mean? Higher up. Yeah. It, it, it might need to be a drag combination to get there. But yeah, that's um, that's how things work. So TFS alloys, pretty badass if you ask me.